this poor guy. He looks just like Jesus. Atheists say it just evolved that way. <laughs> that puts it into perspective, like, real quick. Like, me? You still running from God? Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in again. I'm Melissa and this is Flourish in Faith. And today I'm gonna be reacting to Christian memes for a third time. You guys love these videos and I love filming them and I just can't help myself when I see memes out there that are just hilarious. I just wanna share them with you guys and like laugh and react to them. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. So without further ado, let's get on with today's video. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda sit over here so that you guys can see right here the memes. So. Let's get into the first one. So, Boaz's favorite pickup line. Before I met you, I was ruthless. That is so funny because, uh, if you guys didn't know, Boaz married Ruth. And so he was ruthless without being married. When you start your job at a church and they already have photos of you on the wall. <laughs> this poor guy. He looks just like Jesus. <laughs> so this one isn't really funny, but it's like a good, a good thing I wanted to throw into this mix. So when you are going through difficulty and wonder where God is, remember the teacher is always quiet during the test. Remember that, guys. Okay, this is really funny. This is modeled after SpongeBob. So, the Bible is just a collection of fan fiction books, nothing more. Those are the atheists and believers. There's Patrick. Um, science confirms the Bible, Isaiah 40, 22. <laughs> Me <laughs> was showing the garbage. Um, Job 26, 7. Job 28, 25. Jeremiah 33, 22. Ecclesiastes. Okay, you guys get the point. I'm not going to read every single one of these. But uh, he says, you want more evidence? Points out there. And then there's just even more evidence. There is so much proof that God is real and what the Bible says is true and real scientifically. So this next one is pretty funny. It says, Pharisees, who do you think you are? And they're like, they're like, they said that to Jesus, and Jesus is like, <laughs> they're like he's like, uh, the king, but Jesus didn't really actually do that, obviously. So all this is about this truck being in the tree, right? Okay, Armenians, I think that's how you say it, uh, say it was free will that the truck went into the tree. Calvinists say it was pre predestined, meaning it was going to happen. Atheists say it just evolved that way. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my goodness. I really, that, that puts it into perspective, like, real quick, like, reality check. When they ask, do you ever stop posting about Jesus and biblical stuff? Never ever. Never ever. Never gonna stop, guys. I'm just gonna keep on posting about God and Jesus in the Bible because it is truly the best thing to be posting. Reading the Bible is like, why? 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 Oh, that's why. Uh, <laughs> that's true. Uncle, haha, <laughs> you're still running a meme page? Me? You still running from God? <laughs> the drink. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. Comment down below if any of you guys think that these are funny. Like, really funny. Get that thing out of my face, Saul says. In Christianity is the cracker Saul chomp little chomp on Christianity then he starts to like it then he loves it oh my goodness that's true before they died Muhammad said I don't know the purpose of life Buddha said seek for the truth Confu Confucius I think it's said I am not the way but Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Oh my goodness. And Jesus is the only one who rose from the grave while the other three are still dead. That is so amazing. And it really puts into perspective how you know that Christianity is the best religion and the only really true one. This one is so funny. So this is after Jesus rose again. And so, so the people were looking for him and she goes, no, no, Mr. Jesus, no here. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, because he got up and walked away. Bartender, I'm cutting you off. Only water from now on. 
sarcastically. Oh no, <laughs> that's so funny. If you guys don't know, Jesus can turn water into wine. So anyone just giving him water, better watch out. I wish God would just speak to me. The Bible, like seriously guys, the Bible is God's answer to your prayer like already written and that is so amazing every prayer that you can pray god has already answered to it in the bible and that is just so incredible biblical gospel is that nice meaty bull and then prosperity gospel <laughs> it, it just looks like it from far away it looks like the biblical gospel but the prosperity gospel is very different and is actually not the real thing because the prosperity gospel promises that you will be rich, you will be famous, you will be well liked, all that stuff if you uh, believe in God, but that isn't true. What the Bible promises is that you will have peace and you will have trust in God and you will go to heaven. So very different, but they do look, this, do look a little bit similar. Uh, when you try to start reading your Bible, Instagram, Netflix, Snapchat, and YouTube are all trying to pull you apart. Yeah, yes, it can get pretty distracting. Comment down below if any of you guys get into the loop of social media. When God made me, okay, so this is like God making the bowl of you. Uh, craziness, just the little, little spoon. Good heart, a spoon. Sense of humor, a cup. Love life, oh no. <laughs> He accidentally tipped the cup over. That is funny. Oh, guys, I'm pretty sure that's not how it went, but it certainly can feel like that sometimes. It's fine, Bethany. We can retouch it. You don't have to jump. Bethany over here is getting raptured. <laughs> guys, I... This is so funny. Like, she's just... <laughs> Next one. The world right now is like the Titanic sinking. Those sealed in Christ, just playing them violins, just, you know, calm. We're not freaking out because we know where we're going and we know that this is part of the plan. So yeah, me, let me get a tattoo that shows that I am a godly man and love to serve my church. Tattoo artists, say no more. Salt and pepper shakers, guess which one is salt? Whoever thought of this idea is so genius because... As you guys know, Lot's wife looked behind her after God said, don't look behind you or else you'll turn into salt. She looked behind her at the burning city and she turned into salt. So that's pretty awkward. Uh, so uh, can you guess which one is salt? Me creating a group calling it Atheist Logic. So atheists join and then I start preaching to them in there. <laughs> the, the devious look like the smart thinking. Okay, the most useless things ever. Sign not in use. Okay, well. Whatever. A balcony that you can't use because you can't reach it. Uh, and then a gate that you can just walk around. And the, oh, and the guards in front of a tomb that Jesus was in. The youth pastor fell asleep in a staff meeting. Okay, I love this one. <laughs> I remember when I put the, when I saved this. The youth pastor fell asleep in a staff meeting. So we laid some clothes on the chairs and exited quietly. Then we blew a trumpet. <laughs> this is, I wanna play a prank like this on someone one day, so watch out if you really like know me in person. But seriously, that is hilarious because then they're gonna think everyone was raptured all around them while they were sleeping and then they got like, they heard the trumpet, all the clothes, perfect. So Jesus gets handed over to death. Three days later, Uno reverse car. <laughs> That's so funny. He reversed death. He really did, guys. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. He's by his grave. Hey, guys. Jesus is still dead, right? The Roman guards. Mm. Nope. Okay, uh, me taking a math test. Jesus is always the answer. Jesus, 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 Jesus. <laughs> That's so funny. Actual picture of Hillsong writing their new worship song. <laughs> yeah. Their songs repeat a lot. Like, they're, some of their songs are literally just one phrase the whole time, which I don't mind as long as they, like, change the key and stuff with each one. It sounds really cool. Sometimes it can get a little repetitive, and yeah. So, when atheists claim they have yet to find proof for God's existence, they are just looking through binoculars with lens caps still on. 
I walk outside, I can see God's creation, and that's because my eyes have been opened. I can see how God is in every little situation because my lens caps are off the binoculars. <laughs> when you forget to let Jesus take the wheel, there's <laughs> it's just the car's on fire. The car is on <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely true, guys. Be careful. Be careful not letting God in control. You should definitely let God in control of as much as you possibly can because Carl gets set on fire if you don't. All right, guys, that was the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I keep doing these meme videos, but I feel like they're so much fun and they're like, they're like a relief. They're like a break in between my sort of serious sit down talking videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Also, click the share button and share this funny video with any friends that you have that you think would enjoy a little laugh. Also, don't forget that I do have an Etsy shop, so if you would like to go check that out and see what you like, and yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and thank you so much for watching, because seriously, it means so much to me that you guys are watching my YouTube channel and stuff, so thank you guys so much, and bye! <laughs>